Hi, I'm Jordan. The purpose of this video is to talk through the ultrasound guided serratus anterior block. First, we're gonna gather our supplies. We do this procedure sterilely, so you'll need a sterile ultrasound probe cover. Alternatively, you can use a tegaderm over the probe cover. Grab some sterile gloves, chlorhexidine or other cleaning solution for the patient's skin, and sterile gel. Next, you'll need supplies for anesthetizing the patient's skin. We use a small gauge needle such as an insulin syringe and lidocaine. Lastly, you'll need the supplies for the nerve block itself. We use a 30cc syringe hooked up to one of two setups. If you're lucky enough to have an ultrasound guided nerve block catheter, grab one of those. If not, you can hook up a 22 gauge spinal needle connected to some IV tubing, which can connect to the syringe. At our institution, we use 0.25% bupivacaine for the block itself. Now that we have our supplies, let's go prep our patient. Review this list of materials needed for the procedure. This is the anatomy you're looking for with the ultrasound. The serratus muscle overlies the ribs in the lateral chest wall. See how the lateral intercostal nerves emerge from this muscle to split and innervate the chest wall. Here is an ultrasound image of the serratus overlying a broken rib. Your patient can be supine or in lateral decubitus position. Here we'll demonstrate the lateral decubitus approach. Position the probe lateral to the nipple between the fourth and fifth ribs at the mid-axillary line in transverse orientation. Use the in-plane technique, staying relatively shallow with respect to the skin as you begin. An assistant is helpful to inject the anesthetic once you're in position. This ultrasound clip shows the needle approaching the serratus anterior muscle overlying the bright white rib below. You'll feel a small pop through the fascia. After a small test push of anesthetic to confirm placement, inject the anesthetic watching the serratus separate from the latissimus dorsi. For more information and procedural videos, visit templeemergencyultrasound.com or the Temple EM YouTube page.